G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in today's video is a great little trick for multiplying two three-digit numbers together. But that's not all. I'm going to expand this out and show you how to multiply any two numbers together. Okay, it's a great little trick. Uh, this one's not going to be faster than a calculator, I'm sorry, but it's still much, much faster than probably the traditional method that you have been taught. Anyway, if you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. And a big shout out to my patrons. Always thank you, always thank you, always thank you. So anyway, without much further ado, let's uh, launch into a question here. Why don't you grab a pen and paper and see if you can uh, go faster than me. Okay, so let's have a look at this first example. 213 multiplied by 323. Go! Alright, so... We have 3 times 3 is 9, we have 3 plus 6 is 9, we have 6 plus 2 plus 9 is 17, we're going to put the 7 there, carry the 1, we have 4 plus 3 is 7, plus that 1 there is an 8, and 3 times 2 is 6. Did you get the answer of 68,799? And more importantly, did you do it faster than me? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you how to do this particular question, okay? Um, and I... Look, this is really, really easy then to actually expand out further. And what's more is we don't have a huge amount of working out there. Okay, so let's have a look at how I work this out, this particular method. Okay, so first off what I did is you're going to see here we've got six numbers. Okay, I'm just going to represent them here, six dots. Okay, and I'll show you what we're multiplying as we go along. The first ones we're multiplying is to get our units. We have a unit here and a unit here, and we're multiplying these two numbers. And that gives us our units answer. So three times three is nine. For the next part of our answer, for the tens part, well, we have a tens times a units and a units times a tens. These are the ways we can get tens. So we have one times three, which is three, and three times two, which is six. And we're going to add those together. So three plus six is nine. And that gives us our tens part of our answer. For our hundreds part of our answer, we're going to be multiplying these numbers, this one by this one, this one by this one, this one by this one. This is a hundreds times units, which gives us a hundreds. Tens times tens, which also gives us a hundreds answer. And units times hundreds, which also gives us a hundreds answer. And we're going to add our answers together. So two times three is six. Okay, I'll write that down there. One times two is two. And three times three is nine. And we're going to add these together. Six plus two is eight. Plus nine is 17. We're going to put the seven here. And we're going to carry this one across like you would with regular multiplication. All right. For the thousands parts of our answer, well, you're going to see here that we're going to be multiplying these ones, okay? We have a hundreds times tens and tens times a hundreds, both of these giving us thousands answers. So two times two is four and one times three is three plus this one here. So four plus three is seven plus one is eight. And you guessed it for the last part of our answer, for the tens of thousands, we're going to be multiplying the hundreds by the hundreds, okay? So 2 times 3 is 6. And there's our answer, 68,799. And you'll probably notice that pattern there. The pattern's a really, really important one to get, okay? You're going to see first off we multiplied these, then we multiplied these ones and added them together, we multiplied these ones and added them together, these ones and added them together, and then these ones. So what about... I'll give you an example for you to try. And then what we'll do is we'll go through and have a look how to do these for different types of questions that aren't three-digit numbers. Okay? And if you like this method, by the way, please remember, like and subscribe. So what about we have a look at another question? Okay, what about we look at 324 times 513? What about you give this a go? So the first ones you're going to be multiplying are these two, the units, okay? Four times three is 12. So you're going to put the 2 down and carry the 1. The next ones we're going to multiply is the 2 by the 3 and the 4 by the 1. So 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times 1 is 4. 6 plus 4 plus this 1 here. 6 plus 4 is 10 plus this 1 is 11. So we're going to put that 1 here and carry the 1 over. The next ones we're going to be multiplying is the 3 by 3, the 2 times 1 and the 4 times 5. Okay, 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 1 is 2. 4 times 5 is 20. We're going to add these all together. So 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 20 is 31, plus this 1 down here is 32. So let's put the R2 down here and carry the 3. For the thousands parts of our answer, we have 2 times 5, which is 10, and we have 3 times 1, which is 3. Easy. 10 plus 3 is 13, plus this 3 here is going to give us 16. So we're going to put the 6 here and carry that 1. 
Finally, we have 3 times 5, which is 15, plus this 1 here, which is 16. So we put that whole thing down. We have 166,212. What a cool trick, right? Really, really simple. All right, now you've got that under your belt. What about I show you the adaptions that you can make on this trick so you can use it for any number. So first off, I'm going to show you just how to multiply things like a 2x2 two two number, a 3x3 three three number, and you'll see how you could extend this out for a 4x4 four four number, a 5x5, five five, that sort of thing. And then I'm going to show you how you can multiply things where it's not the same, so it's like a 2 digit number by a three digit number or something like that and how you might then go about doing those and it's not a huge difference so first off let me just put up the pattern that you would use okay so say we have a two digit by a two digit number to get the units what we're doing is we're multiplying the two units numbers then to get the tens numbers we're multiplying the units by the tens and the tens by the units then to get the hundreds number we're going the tens by the tens number and that's how we would go about systematically working out our answer for the three digit number, to get our units, we'd start over here and we'd go the units by the units. To get the tens, we'd go a tens by the units and the units by the tens. To get the hundreds number, we'd go hundreds by the units, tens by the tens, units by the hundreds. To get the thousands, we'd go tens by the hundreds and hundreds by the tens. And to get the tens of thousands, we'd multiply the hundreds by the hundreds. And you can see this pattern here and you can see how you could extend this out to a four digit or a five digit set, things like this. Okay, so what about if we have a two-digit by a three-digit number? And I'll show you with an example. Okay, so say we multiply uh, 23 times 341. How would I go about doing this? All right, little trick. And as soon as I do this, one little thing, you'll go, ah, okay. And I'll show you what it is. I'll put a zero here. All right, we're just got a three-digit by a three-digit number now, okay? One times three or three times one is three. We have 2 times 1, which is 2, and we have 3 times 4, which is 12. 2 plus 12 is 14, so put the 4 down, carry that little 1. We have 0 times 1, nothing, okay, 0. Uh, 2 fours are 8, 3 times 3 is 9, so 8 plus 9 is 17, plus that 1 there is 18. So I'll put the 8 there, carry the 1. 0 times 4 is 0, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And 0 times 3, well, that's 0. So our answer is 7,843. Anyway, that's all there is for this trick. It's a really simple little uh, way of multiplying. It's a lot faster than the way you've been taught too. Uh, did you like it? If so, please like and comment. I did try to go through, by the way, and actually explain what was happening at the same time. I just thought, uh, rather than showing you a, a trick and saying this is it, you know, we actually are taking care of all the tens and the units and that sort of deal that you do with other multiplication just a more expedient way of doing it. Uh, once again, thanks to my patrons. Uh, the next video, we're actually going to be having a look at a patron request, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.